Nature Shaman might turn out to be the best deck after the latest sniffs to Aggro Demon Hunter go live tomorrow. So in this video I'll give you a quick guide about Nature Shaman, show its mulligans, win rates, as well as some general tips for it so you have a better idea of how to play with and against this deck. So if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget you can find me for some Hearthstone coaching. Now let's check out the deck. You are not prepared! Here's the variant I used, and there's all sorts of different variations of this deck out there, and you can definitely climb with most of them. I definitely believe that the Dry Scale Deputy can make its way back into this version, instead of some other things we have here, but you also have some trouble with hand size and stuff, so this also might be a downside in some cases, so be careful what you choose. Anyway, here's the list, and we have a couple of flowriders in here, with which you can discover exact spells from your deck, and it's not a copy of those spells, so be careful what you pick here. Couple of lightning bolts are obviously great, burn cheap nature spells. Lightning reflux can discover you tons of good stuff, and it's an excellent way for you to discount your crash of thunder easily. We also have a couple of miracle salesmen giving you a couple of zero mana that can deal a bunch of damage once you get some spell power, or you could just use them to tradable back into your deck so you can draw more. Couple of novice zappers are nice overload cards for you that also give you spell damage. We have a single copy of Overdraft in here, and that can be tons of damage, especially after you've done all the Overload combo. Couple of pop-up books, which are another excellent cheap nature spell with which you can deal insane amount of damage, but you can also use this in the early turns so you can actually stabilize, because a couple of zero ones can be quite hard to deal with. We have a single copy of Spirit Claws in here, and with this one you could deal a bit of chip damage as well as control the early boards and whatnot. Two copies of Amphibious Elixir so you can heal a bunch, it's another nature spell, it gives you more discover so you can get lucky with more lightning bolts, more crash of funders, or more pop-up books and stuff like that. The Ancestral Knowledge is another good overload card in here which gives you tons of card draw. It's not a nature spell though, so be careful with that. Blood Mage Talnos gives you some spell power for cheap as well as some card draw so you can be flexible with them. The Cactus Cutter is a nice way for you to tether out some spells from your deck. And if you actually manage to play it, you could also get a decently sized uh, early game taunt for you. Like if this thing pulls you a pop-up book, that can be pretty good tempo on turn 2 or 3. Flash of Lightnings in here obviously gives you great card draw as well as uh, setting up your next turn for tons of damage with discount. And you could be flexible with the first copy of Flash of Lightning, but the second copy you definitely want to be saving for the turn where you want to be going for the lethals. We also have a single copy of Cobalt Geomancer, which is your worst spell power minion in, in this deck, but it still could get the job done in certain cases. Couple of Needle Rock Totems for a bunch of card draw. Photographer Fizzle is pretty nice in here because it can also help you against things like Control Warrior because God knows you're gonna need more than one set of hand to actually deal that insane amount of damage you're gonna require for you. Crash of Thunder is by far your best card in the deck and it clears both the board and the opponent's face while getting discounted through all of your cheap nature spells. And we also have the Titan at the end with which you can use to control the board and heal or you can also use it to draw a bunch of your overload cards. But don't forget you don't have that many overload cards in here, it's just a couple of zappers, a couple of lightning bolts, and a couple of ancestral knowledges. So if you already drew most of those, you might not want to be picking that. Also don't forget this guy also gives you a discount on your first spell you cast each turn, but also don't forget that's not gonna work for you if you decide to coin it out on turn 5, the first spell you cast that turn would have been the coin. The main idea with this deck is to be drawing a bunch of cards in the early turns and around turn 6 or 7 burn the opponent's face big time. You can definitely take your sweet time with this one and you don't really need to be super careful with holding on all of your burn spells, definitely the pop-up books are the first easiest to go uh, spells for you to be using to control the board because they also give you taunts so that buys you tons of time but you can also be using let's say a single crash of thunder if the opponent goes super wide against you just because we have decent amounts of discover through amphibious elixir as well as lightning reflexes. Don't forget you don't always need to be OTKing the opponent, in some matchups you just clear their board long enough like let's say against the Zarimi Priest, if you manage to control their initial burst and they run out of cards in hand, they're probably not gonna be able to do much against you, so you can just take it from there. And also don't forget you don't always need to pop off on the turn where you have an active flash of lightning, like if you were in a pinch in the early turns you can still probably do without it around turn 9 or 10, but it's definitely not gonna be ideal. 
In terms of photographer fizzle, if you know that's gonna be your game plan, you might wanna try and tidy up your hand so you don't get too much stupid cards returned. And you might even actually play a few cards before you take the photographer fizzle on the same turn, just so you don't get those cards cluttering up your hand. And don't forget that fizzle is gonna be taking a picture from left to right, so if you don't have enough room for all of the cards you're gonna be taking a picture of, you can still be smart about what cards you're gonna be burning, as long as the first few are actually the important you wanna get copies of. In terms of matchups, here's what the stats show. And yeah, right now Demon Hunter could be a little bit troublesome, but with all of the good amount of healing in here, as well as uh, some good discovers you might be looking for, like the deal 8 heal for 8 kind of deal, you can definitely handle uh, Demon Hunters right now. But as you can see, Warriors are definitely not gonna be your friend. But as long as you're smart about how you do the Fizzle turn, you should be fine. Miracle Rogue apparently is also a problem, because they're probably gonna go super wide super early. And apparently Highlander Druid is not that amazing. Amazing, but as you can see everything else looks pretty decent. As for the mulligan, here's what the stats show. And yeah, you probably want your uh, early game minions in the early turns, the spirit claw is not horrible. Ancestral knowledge could be something you want to be doing so you can draw a bunch. Needle rock totem definitely sounds pretty great, and pop-up book could also be pretty good against certain opponents. If you know the matchup is gonna be very board centric, the titan also makes a lot of sense. And in certain matchups you can literally even novice zapper on turn 1 let's say against the Zarimi priest so you can follow up with a flow rider on turn 2. And that can also be pretty decent. As for what on the coin, here flash of lightning becomes a bit more important because you are gonna have a bit more card draw so technically you could be pulling off a turn 6 lethal out like that. So this way you basically ensure you're gonna be having the pop off enabler on turn 5 or something like that. But the rest looks pretty much similar. All around the deck is not expensive, it's definitely not easy, and it does look intimidating at first, but if you just start playing this one and keep an open mind about it, you should be able to get the hang of it in no time. Hope this guide helped you, now let's check out some of my games trying to learn this not so easy deck. Hope you enjoy. Perakoka. Nailed it. Okay, sounds like a good idea like this. And these two are the best cards apparently. That is not horrible. This guy ain't horrible. Yeah, sounds about right. With the new Brawl Museum coming on 1st of May, it's usually in a couple of weeks after that, so... That's how they get you guys, that's how they get you. I think I'll tempo this crap out. We're not playing what we draw, but... Still. Or a poop out book. I can do that to stop him from killing my crap right now. Won't be able to kill him off in the zero, so it's kind of cool. Heal a bunch now. Totem's kind of nice. Next turn I can play that plus this thing maybe. So this turn I think this is the play. Should wait a turn, look for a turn 7 lethal perhaps, we're still kind of very short on that damage, aren't we? Just have one spell power minion. Well, we should be. That's what it's all about, some of that nostalgia action. Hey, how's it 
How's it going, Zadie? Thank you as well, man. How are you doing? We're actually not trying the guy that doubles up your next spell you draw. That's kind of a weird choice. This thing living. Not sure I feel too good about that. How's that crash? Hey, thank you very much for the subscribe, Haswell. Thank you for that prime. I think I'll grab this and uh, I'll play this thing right now so he shoots his pants. Tradable this thing, it's not really too much use for me, the way things are. Haven't overloaded, so uh, next turn I can go with double Needle Rock and a uh, Flash of Lightning maybe. Gives me a couple of card draw. That's not a nature spell, that's odd. If I don't play some right now, we are burning here. Do I care about that? I don't care about burning here. Wasting a book is not the dumbest thing in the world. I'll waste the book, sure. Might actually be not a bad idea here. Okay, some of that spell power action. This miracle salesman is kind of lame. Yeah, you could, you could. That's annoying. I won't be drawing much though, so hopefully I don't get instacog blocked. Thanks. Do I have mana the hero power here? It's too risky. That's lame. Okay. That was a bit bare bone. Bit bare bone now, wasn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Still learning them ropes, aren't I? Well, turn seven lethal, still good enough in it. That'll do, I guess. Not in the master store or anything, but 
Turn seven, Leaf will take those, I guess. I mean, going over 30 is not that big a deal since we have Fizzle in this one, but uh, still gotta be a little bit cautious. Next goal, turn six. Yeah, gotta get to that 05 turn, huh? Gotta work our way down. I have a feeling they might soon. Not yet. Not on the Demon Hunter patch, but after the Demon Hunter patch, we're still in line for another wave of nerfs, so hold tight, we might be seeing something. Against the priest, the call. I don't think we want these, but Flash of Lightning should be fine-ish. Help us with his initial pop. Okay. Tempo Zapper. I'm down for Tempo Zapper for this guy. It's not like we need over 30 for this guy anyway, so... This guy can come and go. Also, we need a way for uh, dealing with his 1-3 overheal idiots. Definitely is good. One thing Zareen Priest is not great at is dealing with early boards. Pop-up book would have been amazeballs right about now. Speaking of the devil, but um, is it still amazeballs? Second flash of lightning will be muy importante. I'll grab the poop out book. Enough a little. This could cost me, by the way, if he coins out a couple of one drops. And I mean, he's never gonna do that on turn one, though. Turn two, that is. Proceeds to do it. I was talking about exactly him doing this, but he only gains two mana back here, so I'm not sure how smart that was. Sure. That was a good amount of removal he used there. I think I'll actually play it stupid like this. Just on trades. Don't want to have to deal with the tentacles. This spell power dude is going to be sticking around. That was a weird thing to be doing that early. I don't think he should have done that on turn 2. Turn 3 is where the money's at. Getting that Zeremi action going. Still hasn't played a dragon. Now that's about to change. Should be playing the 1 2 or 2 1. If he's sticking this long, uh, this long, I'd assume maybe the 1 2 is in there instead. Feels like it. So he has the Churgeon in there. Let's see what this man has to say. That's playable. Making this into a 3-4, not the dumbest idea in the world, but... I don't know, dude. I wonder. I'll just do this for now. Okay, second flash of lightnings in the house, and also Galganef. It's pretty important. The problem is he has the Churgeon in there, so he's probably gonna get a lot of uh, healthy men out there. Bigger than 3 health, probably. Playing Zerim Priest definitely did make me a master of the deck, but it definitely opened my eyes to what they're trying to do and what not, and what is actually hard for them to do. Okay, I'm happy to see that that was not a funnel cake he got back. Koopa book. That's kind of lit. I 
go poop it. Go poop it in next turn. The good old gal should be doing fine for us. Maybe it wasn't such a bright idea wasting the flash last turn though. It did help me get the poop out book though. I don't know, I don't know. We've created a temporal anomaly. Still no dragons out of the guy. Do I play this? If this thing survives, which it should, I can draw free overload cards. Some of that spell power, some of that. Hmm, what else are we drawing actually? This thing. Hmm. Not even drawing all that much, huh? Should I waste this then? Well, more overdraw, I guess. Let's do it. Might not even need the discount, he's kind of low there. If I get the Crash of Thunder, that is. I could through this, we'll see. Maybe I should have played this thing though. Did use a good amount of my good nature, cheap spells like pop up books and whatnot. Water. I think he's going all in, so I'll also have to go all in, whatever that means. I'm still not sure what he's going all in though, but we'll see. Soon we're about to find out. He ain't going nowhere fast. Starting the operation. Fascinating order. God knows he wasn't planning on that thing going that way, but okay, he went half in. He put in just the tip there. Just the tip. I should have used this guy first. I'm losing my spell power this way. But I'm buying myself extra time. I feel like I messed up. gonna be able to play his Remy here, isn't he? Maybe he doesn't have that many dragons. He only played two so far. Three with the Starlight Whelp. 
has Rimi, a potion. The rest is a mystery, so he needs two straight up dragons, one mana dragons, too. We know he already played one, so he probably should not have uh, that. He shouldn't be able to. Problem is, I'm overdrawing right now, and we're still missing both my crashes, but I do have uh, 12 damage from hand as it stands for basically one mana, so should be able to. Okay, he's going all in, but certainly knows Rimi here. Yeah, he's activating Zerimi for next turn, but there's not gonna be a next turn. If, if he had his second Funnel K there, it was almost possible. Almost. How you doing, Kex? Welcome. Definitely needs to kill that 5-3. It's giving me way too much game. If he goes face, I would not have overdrawn here. It is what it is. Acceptable. There's one. Um, I don't have any more any more spell power in here. I can unlock my crystals. Got our poopa book. Is that enough? Twelve, fifteen, nineteen is what I'm seeing, and with this, it is enough. Of extra spit. That was a nice little overload turn. Okay, turn eight. Went slow on him now, didn't I? One more. Which line, potato? There's so many. This is fine. The fuck runs body bagger. Surely it's gonna be some uh, rainbow nonsense. Solves any problem. Wasn't Fizzle on the reward track or something somehow? Can't remember. Oh, Fizzle, my nizzle. Perhaps, perhaps. Kinda lame wasting the coin here, but it does give me a decent situation. It will also overload me for a flow rider next year. It's a little bit dumb. Like the coin is a lot more important than this, but I think against this guy we'll allow it. Yeah, next turn feels like needle rock plus this guy. We're gonna be at nine and we're gonna remain at nine cards. We have both my flash of lightning, so. We can go loosey goosey with the first one. Okay, takes like a man. He is gonna go back to full, but this does buy us time. Crash. Some of that crash. Okay, more of those. Mm, this thing needs to go. Hmm. 
This 2A is gonna remain, bruh. It's gonna remain forever. Hex me, dude. It's not Hex. Well, Excavate does the, the job. It will also overdraw me, though. Um, gave me the coin, the rock, which ain't bad. And even more nature spell, by the way. Okay, another crash of thunder. I'll grab another crash. Might need to use it defensively. My hand control is not exactly premium here, is it? Fuck. That's a big man. Get them low. He's showing 18 damage right now. Maybe I shouldn't really be losing my shit right now, should I? Koopa book. It's kind of cool. Honestly, I could double discount, drop my entire hand. I mean, I can drop my entire hand as is. But it's gonna be even easier this way, isn't it? How much damage is this? I have plus two spell power showing, so we have 20, 25, 20, 30. So I can just do this and protect myself. I can drop this fool as well. You guys see how I positioned even without these guys visible? Hilarious. Sketchy business though, sometimes it literally still plays it whatever the hell it wants. Think I am. How's it going, Kaz? Welcome. That's a lot of damage. It's cool. Well, that was fucking easy. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing with this deck, but it's still hella easy, guys. Like, it ain't an easy deck, that's for sure, but... It is... Truly... Busted as hell. Busted as hell. What's happening, guys? Why did that uh, go twice? Rams is raiding me with a party of 151. Let's fucking go. What was the second notification? Same thing. That was weird. You guys just came in with the clutch for me reaching this late legend, but... I had the coach, guys. I had the coach. It puts food on the table, you know. Still getting some uh, decent uh, numbers. Nothing too amazing to write home about, but decent enough. How are you doing, Ramses? How's been life? It's two mana. Okay, these two are kind of cool. Galganeth is gonna be important. Well, this guy really wanted to be here, huh? Smelt blood. Okay, the Poopa book is actually kind of cool. I wonder. 
Dude, like this definitely don't want him to over overheal his board. Like if he plays the two three next turn becomes a two four. Not exactly easy to deal with. Well, yeah. Starting the It's the law. Falcon Elman has all his one drops, four one drops still turn two. Yeah, let's see what this guy has to say. Nothing. He said nothing, chat. Yeah, dick. I'll tempo this man's out. It's not about OTK in here. He's low on resources, we're low on resources. Card draw for him, sadly. Fuck. He even has a dragon in there, huh? Fizzle, not the bestest of picture for me. It ain't the worst either. Next turn we have this thing active. Deals with plenty of his boards. I'll fizzle here for the extra body, I guess. I'll kill this guy so he can't get out of range of the free damage easily. Do it. Asshole. Still, this and the Galganet next turn. Oh, that's interesting. Just hope he doesn't have overheal there. This is quite the miserable game so far. Please don't overheal. There you fucking go. Easy game, easy life. Not even close, fam. Even gonna s get a second Galgameth. He tried. He made an attempt, guys. An attempt has been made. Thought so. That was an awkward game, but we handled it awkwardly. That's the warrior. Okay, here's the real supposed card matchup. We are gonna need the Fizzle in this one. Could try tempoing the zapper. If I had the two one, I would have honestly, but without it, I think it's a full tosser. Okay, it's a bit better. Okay, a bit better indeed. Let 
Mm, that needs to go. That needs to go for real, for real. Coin's gone. He spent the coin there. This guy looks to be Odin Warrior. That's probably even worse for me, huh? This. I'm trading this if limits his card draw a little bit better. He could have one damage three times here. Okay, only two cards drawn. Something. Another one of those, and a little bit of poop out book. Don't want to give him too much armor yet. Here, yeah, show sure, fan. You know how it go. You know how that one go. I'll drop this sucker out. It's a bit too expensive for what it's doing for me. I will need a bunch of spell power, that's for sure, but we already have the good spell power and I'd rather make a pretty fizzle picture if I get him. It's always the expensive shit we get out of this guy. It's not that big a deal, but it kind of sucks, don't it? Where's that fizzle, my nizzle? Who the hell is that? <laughs> it's Fixia, and why did you have to wait this long to tell me? Who is that even? I mean, I guess I can see it. Kinda, kinda. Yeah, he has that dark look in his eye. This dull guy. Hmm. You can draw free overload cards. I still have another flash of lightning. Problem is I will need to waste something here, so I will do it.
Actually, I only have two overload cards right now, don't I? Lightning buff and uh, ancestral knowledge. Still need to waste something here. I guess a poop up book. in this? Doesn't. Doesn't care about it much. Just getting a shit ton of armor. He's hurt, that helps. Not if I get my fizzle, it won't. Are you a fizzle? You're not my mizzle. Neither are you. Come on, Fizzal. If you kill Spellnos, we are overdrawing, and we all know what we're overdrawing, right? We are aware. We all know what we're overdrawing, guys. We knew for a long time, didn't we? Come on, man. Cactus cutter me one time. Fucking god. There we go. These are all horrible. Okay, this is what we have right now. I can save the weapon swing for a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, we had nine cards, so we gotta drop the entire hand before playing the snapshot if we get it. Four cards left. Bunch of tradables, too. Anyway, we're going for it. That ain't it. Could be, though.
kind of fucked up there, didn't I? This could have been lethal, I played it poorly. Well, that don't help. I played it poorly. Could have been lethal for real, for real. He did have so much armor, but uh... I don't know, man. I mm, think I had a way to deal a bit more there. I should have used the one man altered cords. There was a way to get this guy dead there, I think. Pretty sure I, if I was a better shaman player there, I would have gotten him. We had the right idea there, we did as much as we could, we uh, made a tidy fizzle snapshot hand, but had to be a wee bit better than that. Okay, let's, uh, let's move to something else now. 